it depends on the sort of idea that you want to work on i think if it's a if it's if it if it, it's a very functional product then you need to ensure that that you have the skills to build it but eventually you'll realize as you go forward in your journey that attitude matters a lot more and if your attitude is right towards you know problem solving towards team building you will be able to find people to be able to solve that problem for you so i think skills is something that you can still gain and and we spoke about some of the courses that you could pick up online uh and i think some of those courses will give also give you knowledge but i think knowledge is also coming across from people that you meet and you know maybe sessions that you attend and 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 even though you know i might be a small part of contributing in the section today uh in the session today i i would probably attend 10 other talks in this week and try to gain knowledge from each and every new and and sort of uh you know seasoned entrepreneur and i think it's very important that you also start hiring uh for attitude as well as skill because you know getting a techie on board who has great skill but doesn't have the right attitude towards building a company will constantly be a pebble in your in your shoe while you're taking this forward so attitude really really makes the a break uh, makes a break you know your uh, your company and your idea and i think if you build the right attitude uh, i think skills still can be sort of built into so while building the skills ensure that you guys are constantly making your attitudes a bit better so doing a self analysis if it takes and ensuring that you know see where you're lacking and sort of covering that up uh with because i think attitude is still difficult skills can still be replaced and i think skills can complement and it's really important to have a certain skill set that is needed but honestly i didn't have uh, the skills to build core before i started building it. i had the skills to build b co before i started building it but i just knew that i wanted to and i and i knew i would ready to take up anything and everything to sort of do that so i learned coding myself i learned software myself uh and then i had friends who helped me a little bit along the way but i think it's just my uh starting my journey and taking that first step is really then help getting other people on board to sort of help you with it so you know you need to be in the right frame of mind to be able to do that and if you are in today then you know that you want to do that uh, you have to do that before and and during the journey and that will constantly keep changing and the best part about entrepreneurship that i really cherish is that every day i know that there is something that i don't know and then that realization makes me want to learn even more and even more and eventually at the end of the 2 3 years you'll realize okay i've learned you know i've learned how to market on facebook i've learned how to digitally acquire customers i've learned how to scale i've learned how to i've learned photoshop i've learned so i've learned so many skill set along the way I actually comes in handy some day my designer not there i'm doing a quick photoshop for my creatives and uh, you know sometimes when the website cracks and it's at 2 am in the morning and i can't get a, de- a developer on the phone then i know i can fix these problems but uh, that's only because of the attitude to always keep learning and pushing no matter what is is really the make or break the most other attitude that you always hear coming from entrepreneurs is never say never and a no is never a no so if if you your rejection if you your nos it's only a matter of time that that's going to become a yes so you nev- you be relentless you be passionate about what you're doing uh you know i think like that that grit will really drive you and i one of my mentor harsh mariwala always talks about grit because that's both determination and perseverance so to you know to sort of aggressively go after your goals but also the perseverance to see this too so be impatient about actions but patient about results and and that you need to inculcate that in within yourself and within the team that it's okay if someone says no we still going to do it we still going to build it out this way and you know being able to take that uh, positively and not let let that bog you down at any point in time is going to be really important i'm sure you're going to have your days don't blame yourself for it we all have had that and we will continue to do so and i think even you know the biggest and the brightest of leaders have had rough days but you know, the attitude of still showing up the next day is really important so never give up and never back down is really uh, what even people like to see in, in in entrepreneurs and i and investors will always invest in uh, the bus driver and not the bus so no matter how well your company is doing if you your entrepreneur you yourself is building it out well they will always invest in you and the first two or three rounds are always to new and not Uh, the platform or not the idea that you're building so i remember one of 
for recent uh, uh, you know uh, advisors and, and and i would look up to him as a mentor sanjeev bachchandani who's the uh, who's the managing director of who was who was running who was the founder of nokri.com and info edge and he was telling me about a story on how he invested in zomato and he actually invested in dipinder goyal who was the founder and even though zomato's numbers were still not doing well that burn or that you know the amount of money the expenses were still too high the revenues were still coming in the continuous you kept investing in multiple rounds for zomato because of dipinder so make sure that you are the reason that people are investing and you are the reason that people are buying and eventually you'll be able to build out a company which will have a brand of its own and a services and a product of its own that people want